Bird picks up his alto and plays it beautifully and Phil Woods talks about levitating back over 7th Avenue back to the strip club. <laughs> to try and make this room into more of a studio stroke practice area so I have as few distractions here as possible. I realise I have no distractions which means I have no phone with a metronome, nothing with backing tracks in. It is good in a way to have a place where it's just you and the horn but um, it's also extremely warm in this room so I can't practice for too long. Anyway today we are talking about six months of me and this Silverstein ligature. When I first did the Silverstein review back in December I had a number of, uh, shall we call them, unhelpful comments from people talking about how what a waste of money, it's so expensive, you know, what's the point of getting on that ligature? After three months all it does is wear down and you have to adjust it or it doesn't work. All that for me has been complete rubbish. This ligature has been fantastic. It's it's not needed tightening up, obviously apart from the, the usual tightening regime. Um, it's made my reeds play a hell of a lot longer. I am getting weeks more use out of my reeds than I was doing prior to using this ligature. So yes, it is expensive, but I think if you took that over a five year period and looked at how much money you would save from reeds lasting longer and being more consistent, I think you're actually going to be up. I think, you know, in terms of the money you spent on the ligature, it's going to be there. The number of reeds that out of a box play so much freer and so much better with this ligature is also um, a, a big positive for it. But the best thing I can say is, I no don't notice it when it's there, but when it isn't there, I know it's not there, if that makes sense. So times when I just play with a different ligature, even the, the fantastic, brilliant, normal Sios ligature that comes with the mouthpiece, which is one of the better ligatures I've played, this, this makes a difference. I notice when it's not there, but I don't really notice when it is there, which is what I want. I've said time and time again in reviews when I'm reviewing saxophone equipment, is that my goal with all my equipment, whether it's from the reed to the mouthpiece, the neck, the horn, everything, the neck strap, I don't want to know about any of it. I want to be able to make my music as easy as possible. I don't want the instrument getting in the way. I want to be able to play and just be completely free to play so I'm not thinking about gear. Because the last thing you want to be doing is be on a job and you know the reed's playing up or this is playing up. There's a great clip, sadly it's been removed from YouTube, where the fantastic late Phil Woods talks about an experience of, he was playing in some strip club off 7th Avenue way back in like the early 50s. And Bird was playing across the road and, you know, Phil Woods was talking about, hey, you know, even if his neck strap was sounding bad and he took his horn over to Bird and said, hey, Bird, I just can't get a good sound out of this horn. Bird picks up his alto and plays it beautifully and Phil Woods talks about levitating back over 7th Avenue back to the strip club and realised that what he had to do in order to play like Charlie Parker was practice. And uh, to be honest, I'm finding that element, the P word, difficult at the moment. I don't know how you're getting on. I think for some of us during lockdown, some of us are having a lot more time, so we've got a lot more time to be able to practice to play. One of the things I've done for this on Cambridge Saxophone, I launched it yesterday, it was in the email that came out this morning on Saturday morning, is I've launched this new thing called Course Pathways. Okay, and the idea is, is that, you know, if you want to, you know, I've set up a little thing, you can go over to it, I'll bring it in now. You know, if you want to learn how to improvise better, well, these are the lessons that you need to watch on the Cambridge Saxophone website, which are going to help you learn vocabulary, get better at improvising. These are my suggestions. Of course, there are over now 400 videos on the site, so there's a lot to go out. But these are my suggestion lessons for you to follow. Of course, you need to be a member in order to do that. You can get platinum membership uh, as and when, but I mean, uh, it's available now. But if you can also get four free lessons, and I'll take you through some of it uh, by clicking on this link below that says in the description, four free lessons. But back to the Silverstein. Yes, 
six months in, I'm really liking it. What don't I like about it? Not much, to be honest. I guess my only thing I'm not a huge fan of, and the time when I've had to not use it, is it's a bit of a squeeze getting it in my um, Kabine BAM case with the Terra. It won't sit in the mouthpiece pouch. I have to put the ligature under the sacks in the thing, and occasionally it gets caught up in the saxophone itself. But to be honest, that's about the only negative thing I've got about it. A few people had said to me beforehand, before I got it, oh, you'll need to tighten these things up, these, these little string things, but I've never had to touch them. They've been great. Six months in, I think this is the best ligature I've played on the saxophone. One of the things I've done up here now is moved my home pod. Up here, so I've got some, some way of breaking it. Um, oh gosh. Now I have struggled to get practice done for a number of reasons. A, the children not being in school means that I've lost three days normally in my week where, where I would have uh, time when they were in school to do more work and move my work around. So my work has become so much more condensed so that the weekends when they're not with me or the days they're not with me, I am literally doing 13, 14 hour days which has kind of disrupted this vlog a little bit. I want to get more vlogs out there, but um, yeah. Anyway, I've got time to practice for half an hour now, so I'm trying to maximize my time and I'm just trying to play some songs. I'm just trying to play some music. <laughs> One thing I haven't put on the vlog so far is this amazing meme that's been doing the rounds. I'm sure you've seen it in other forms before, you know, with the guy looking back towards the hot girl and his girlfriend not being too appreciative of it, but obviously uh, this is what our ligatures maybe feel like with the silver scene. <laughs> Joking aside, it really is, obviously this is talking about the ligature here, um, we're talking about a lot of this, as I've said before, about marginal gains. It's not something that's gonna make a huge difference straight away to you, you know, kind of getting a, a ligature like that. But over time and over the last six months, I've certainly, as I've said, my reads have lasted longer, my reads are playing more consistently, and I put that down to the ligature, I really, really do. So well done to the guys at Silverstein for producing such a brilliant piece of kit. Yeah, it's expensive, but only you can justify whether it's worth you spending that amount of money. So just at the supermarket collecting our shopping. Tonight I'm hosting a jazz pub quiz on for my Patreon. And I'm thinking about doing it on Monday for you guys. Patreon are gonna get first dibs, obviously, but uh, let me know. Have a little click below in the comments, or I might try and stick a poll up here. If Monday evening, say 8 p.m. London, we do a, a dance pub quiz uh, for you guys. Uh, we'll do a YouTube live as well, we'll see. Uh, but I'm trying it on Patreon tonight, we'll see what happens. And then, uh, yeah, hopefully we're good. I've been trying to compile some questions. Some of them are easy, some of them are quite difficult. Uh, I'll use something called Kahoot uh, to do the quiz, but um, just kind of everything in life at the moment involves queuing, which is an Englishman is not too bad. Um, but yeah, I'm kind of now, yeah, I guess this is just new normal, isn't it? <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
That's our little uh, pub quiz done. Uh, thank you very much for watching today's vlog. Please do click a like and a subscribe if you don't already subscribe, but click a like no matter what your position you're in. Uh, it's been great to see so many of you. Catch me on Monday, we'll do that quiz live. Uh, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna leave you with this.